This work presents a scene in the outdoors, where a man with a straw hat on the right of the artwork is painting a woman wearing a traditional sarong on the left of the artwork. They are sitting on rattan chairs around a circular table, upon which a red teapot rests with two cups. They are surrounded by nature, such as the bushes of pink and yellow flowers on the edges of the painting, and the blue mountain range in the background. As the title suggests, the focus of this painting is the artist and the model. The artist intensely focuses on his canvas as his right hand moves in a gestural manner, capturing the forms of the woman in front of him. His arched torso is mirrored by the woman, yet her pose is demurrer. She rests her head on her left arm, with her right arm resting on her right thigh. Her eyes seem to be closed, as though she is quietly resting and posing for the artist in a dainty and feminine manner. There is a clear contrast between these two figures. The model is half nude, covering her waist down with a patterned sarong, and adorned with two flowers on her braided hair. This traditional Balinese wear is contrasted with the artist's western attire, a straw hat, a plain yellowish white shirt, and pants and shoes. This contrast is also seen in the environment. The female model in traditional attire complements the natural scenery, mirroring her organic forms and flowery headdress. The male model's western attire complements the geometric man-made chairs, bag and tea set. Clearly, this contrasting juxtaposition of two very different societies and cultures reflects the union of the traditional and the modern in quiet engagement. The modern artist is fascinated by the traditional model and is presented to be studying her, attempting to understand her identity and culture through the visual arts. The subject matter is treated in a stylized and flat manner. No details are painted to create a realistic scene. For example, the figure's eyes are merely a short brushstroke, and their faces lack many details such as the form of the nose, the folds of the earlobes and the texture of the lips. Their bodies and arms are curved, and the grass below them is flat. Even the clouds are simplified to horizontal strokes of white paint. Nevertheless, the silhouettes of the subject matter and the naturalistic color scheme gives enough clues for viewers to understand what they are looking at. The mountains are given enough jagged forms to suggest the mountain summits. The figures are presented with basic human figures such as limbs, facial features, fingers and clothing, characteristics which are helpful in informing viewers of their identity. Despite the simplified style, the artist was still able to capture the serenity and elegance of the scene. This is captured through the sinuous and gentle curved lines seen in the mountains, the figures and even the furniture. The lines are undulating in a rhythmic manner, unifying the entire artwork as though the shapes and lines are gently dancing to paint a peaceful scene of a natural landscape, where the artist is quietly painting his muse. This stylized treatment of the subject matter reflects the artist's technical and visual mastery in giving just enough subject matter to create a visually pleasing work that is still accessible to the viewers.